So I'm doing a little yard work today, just kind of cleaning up some trees and shrubs and thought I'd incorporate the chief. This looks fairly OSHA approved. Drove in my backyard, checked with my neighbor. So we're trying to remove that little mini shrub there and um, doubling my power of my winch with the old, uh, sh uh, um, gosh, snatch block. Tie to there, point there, put it right in. We'll see if I can yank this shrub out. It should be uh, pretty easy to do, but we're gonna uh, record so we can watch this unfold. All right, let's watch it go. All right. The Badlands 12,000 pound winch, snatch block, a couple tree savers to pull on the old uh, shrub there. Should be good. The only uh, improvement areas I think I might have to do would be to tie the back end of the Jeep to the tree, tilt the wheel so it digs in more, or use a tire as a pivot point, but I'm not going to set that up. Maybe it's overkill. It's a shrub. So, all right, let's see. Do your stuff. If I can get away with the rock under the tire, most likely not. I'll have to, I'll have to secure the Jeep to a uh, to the tree. Oh, it's coming! Hear it? It's ripping. Let's go take a look. Oh yeah, she's coming. Why dig when you can yank it out, right? That's satisfying. Well done. Well done, Badlands. Well done indeed. See, I don't really like yard work, but if I can incorporate my Jeep into it, it's not so bad. All right. Oop. Let's not let it eat the snatch block here. All right. <laughs> Success. All right, here's the second pull. That's how that's done. Okay, so now that we got those two little shrubs out, let me show you what I've been up to now. Check this out. In the beginning of the video, you remember those two really big green don't know what kind of bushes they are but they were really overgrown and they were blocking visibility out that window it kind of made the room dark so you can see I've already had some fun here <laughs> pulling out a stump 
that was unbelievably fun and I got some video of that but one thing I didn't catch is the uh, setup so we still have this stump to pull out and what we're gonna do now is this is gonna be a detailed look at the setup as far as where do I put my pulleys you know my snatch blocks where do I anchor how do I use that tire incorporate that into the leverage the mechanical advantage of using the chief to uh, do some yard work I'm telling you what man yard work is a whole hell of a lot more fun when you incorporate your Jeep vehicle you know this weekend I kind of wanted to goof around with the uh, the Jeep and I know I had some yard work to do so leave it to a Jeep guy to figure out how to uh, put those two together so tell you what I've been having a great weekend so far and there's the dogs watch out everybody there they are it's killers <laughs> stay keep on your side of the fence <laughs> all right let's go through how we uh, set up the pulleys okay here's a quick look at the equipment I'm using for this so for this pull I'm going to use two force multipliers or better known as snatch blocks so think of I mean and there's tons of videos out on YouTube about the properties and the principles of pulleys but basically it it doubles the, the power so I could easily pull this pull this line out here right here attach it to the base of that stump and pull but it's going to work really really hard and probably wouldn't work so incorporate yourself a pulley into it where you would have line going out all the way through here attach the pulley there and then attach this hook right back to here you would basically uh, cutting the effort in half or doubling the uh, pulling power of the pulley man you go on ahead and put two snatch blocks on here you can lift the titanic with these bad boys it's all about mechanics man mechanical advantage i think it's starting to rain crap i gotta hurry up so uh real quick uh two soft shackles one hard shackle i like to use soft shackles in the event of any kind of problem soft shackles are very light they won't come flying at you and kill you um i'm gonna put this tree saver on the uh bottom of the tree oh and who can fit a, who can forget our uh, trusty tire so if you think about what a tree does it uses its roots and the roots come out laterally so whenever the wind blows it will keep the tree steady not a lot of wind blowing from the ground up so the roots are its weakest when you pull up so incorporating this tire and it's hard to kind of imagine but incorporating this tire as a leverage point will make it a very easy pull so including i'm stepping on my crap here two pulleys and leverage so that will allow the tire that will allow the uh, the ropes to pull up from the roots instead of laterally it'll come right out and that's what we did here with this one it was great too you can hear the roots pulling and everything I mean the winch wasn't even bogging down and oh as you guys know using the Badlands Harbor Freight special Badland 12,000 apex I'll tell you what man this thing is so much fun I love recovery stuff I love the equipment I love the mechanics of it I'm not even having a Jeep run when this thing is going. So, all right, let's start laying out the lines and you'll kind of see the, the whole setup here. So let's get that going. Okay, let's start lining up our lines. We'll loop this around the bottom of the, the stump. Low as can be, that'll provide the most leverage. You all see that? Yeah, see what I'm doing? Yeah, okay, good. So we're just going to put this right at the base, lowest part. These are rated for who knows, but definitely more, definitely a lot more stronger than it would be to pull this bad boy out. Pull enough out because you got to go back and forth twice, right? Alright, the first connection I'm going to make here is with the soft shackle and the first snatch block. So, just take this line, take this snatch block, splits in half, feeds through there. Just kind 
gonna squeeze that down. Cinch that up. And what I like to do is just to kind of give it a little bit more thickness. So that's your first connection. Loop that through, send it to the back, send it back to the Jeep, and that's where we're gonna put this second one on. Let's go. All right. Now your second point of contact will be the second snatch block. We'll put it right through this D-ring here. Remember the first side is connected to the back of the, or the bottom of the um, same setup. Harbor Freight just had these bad boys on special. Uh, let's see, I wanna, yeah. Okay. Sometimes you gotta check your math a little bit. That's your second point of contact. Tighten up your D-ring. Coming out of the winch, going to the stump. There's a snatch block there. Coming back out. Here comes your force multiplier. Let's go back to the tree with our second soft shackle. All right, so now we're gonna take, I think I don't wanna use a soft shackle because I want this to sit a little bit higher. So we'll use this shackle right here. So this is where this is where we're gonna have, oops. So the winch is gonna be really pulling from like two spots, right? It's pulling from this first point of contact sure that's all good and there's good separation from the both and this will slide down a little bit once you build tension but that's really it first snatch block the end of the winch line base of that and we got one more step we got to add that tire okay let's add the tire again the trees or the roots are the weakest when pulling vertically or almost vertically. So the name of the game here, try to set this whole get up as close as you can without killing the tire, killing the bead, killing yourself. So this will provide a fulcrum, if you will. Once we get some tension, I'll, I'll show the layout of the lines again. I don't think I like that. I don't want the lines crossed. There you go. That's better. Try not to cross your lines up. All right. Rock and roll. Let's see if I can get that a little closer. All right. Everything looks tight. Everything looks good. Tight and secure. Alright, I think we're set up. So starting from the back, if you're lucky to have a tree close by, is this completely parallel and lined up? <coughs> no, but it worked the last time. So trailer hitch, no shackle, tree saver around the tree, good to go. You can see it dragged the Jeep a little bit, but I got some blocks, some stones under the tire. Messed up my good grass, kind of not too happy about that. And I got another one here. So let's, let's, this is the, the meat potatoes, guys. Line from the winch. Oops, sorry. Line from the winch out to the first snatch block. I switched the snatch blocks up. This one was over by the Jeep. Um, I didn't like the way it was lining up. This one definitely has a lot more depth to that uh, pulley. So I switched it up. And again, always good to, if you don't like the way something looks, don't question it, just fix it. So from the Jeep, from the winch, around the first snatch block, 
to the second snatch block out of that I know it's silly walking back and forth out of that you can see out of that snatch block right there and to the end of your winch this is your winch cable it's your hook your second shackle that's on there attached to your tree saver to the base I don't know if you can see that to the base you got your tire set up get a good look at that it pulls up it's leverage guys it's all leverage man it's all ball bearings you guys who are around in the 80s for the movie Fletch it's all ball bearings now all right let's uh, set this up and get the pull I got two cameras going so we can kind of uh, see how this works so hit it Seems like it wants to go. Big one. That was a big bush. Been in there for a long time. Two foot thick, two foot deep. Wow. Man, now, what the hell am I going to do with this big ass stump? I'm going to put out the garbage.
that. Look at this. Look at the hole it left. Whoa. That's immense. Look at the root hole. Big time. Wow. That took a lot of juice to get that bad boy out of there. There it is. <laughs> now what? Well, I'm officially tired, but it's out. So now all I gotta do is figure out what to do with this. Probably take the winch, put the Jeep in the front of the house, drag it all the way to the, uh, the driveway and uh, load it up on a trailer and take it to the dump next weekend. But uh, that's my plan. This, uh, this, old, this old ball, root ball, gave me a old good old fight. But in the end, uh, the Jeep and me were victorious. So until next time, folks, take care of yourselves. Take care of your Jeeps, take care of your root balls, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Later.